The medical campus Würzburg is the venue for cutting-edge research in the field of infection biology and RNA-based infection research. Here, scientists at the Helmholtz Institute have gained fundamental new insights into the replication mechanism of the SARS-CoV-2 pandemic virus. Many viruses, many pathogenic viruses, so viruses that cause disease in humans, utilize RNA as the carrier for their genetic information. And this is also true for uh, coronaviruses, including SARS-CoV-2. When SARS-CoV-2 infects a host cell, it releases its RNA genome into the host cell where the genome directly engages uh, factors of the host cell, especially the gene expression machinery that it hijacks to copy and reproduce its own genetic material. We've analyzed host proteins that directly bind to the SARS-CoV-2 RNA inside infected cells. And there we found one host protein that is called SND1 that specifically recognizes the negative sense RNA of the virus. And this we found quite interesting because this negative sense RNA serves as a template during the amplification process of the virus to make more viral RNAs. We could show that there is this human factor that specifically recognizes the negative sense RNA of SARS-CoV-2 and this human factor also works together with a viral protein to set the start signal for amplifying the genetic material of the virus. The human protein SND1 was shown to play a crucial role in the replication process of SARS-CoV-2. We found that SND1 is required for efficient viral RNA synthesis in the cell and that it does not only interact with the viral RNA but also with a viral protein that is called NSP9. And this interaction between SND1 and NSP9 is required to initiate the viral RNA synthesis efficiently inside the host cell. Our data show that NSP9 is attached to the initiation sites of the viral RNA, which means that NSP9 acts as a protein primer during the synthesis process. This means that NSP9 serves as the first building block of the growing RNA chain. And we found that for this process to be efficient, SND1 is required. The findings are significant for further basic research, but they could also lead to new avenues for the treatment of COVID-19 and other infectious diseases caused by coronaviruses. So this study provides an important update to the textbook on coronaviruses. We now understand the mechanism of how SARS-CoV-2 copies its genetic material much better. And this understanding can lead to a development of novel therapeutic strategies that interfere with the capability of the virus to reproduce its genetic material. It's now important to find out whether this mechanism is conserved among different coronaviruses and if it could be utilized to develop inhibitors against many different coronavirus infections.